A suspect in yesterday's deadly mall shooting in Denmark has been charged with murder. Three people were killed and four others were critically wounded. A number of other people were slightly injured running from the scene. The shopping mall in Copenhagen remains cordoned off as police continue their investigation. A Danish broadcaster has published a photo of the 22-year-old suspect, but the man has not yet been identified. He appeared in court, reportedly accompanied by three armed officers. Reporter Trent Murray has more. We're still learning uh, more details about this. He has just fronted that judge in the past few hours. His lawyer would not enter a plea while media were in the room. The judge then asked media to leave, and we understand the rest of the hearing is now being held behind closed doors. But police have confirmed those charges of murder, as you mentioned, and he will now remain in custody for at least the next 24 days under uh, police uh, investigation procedural laws within Denmark. Uh, but he will be held in a special psychiatric ward, which really does chime with what we heard in those preliminary press uh, uh, press briefings from the media, which were he uh, did was known to psychiatric services within Denmark before this shooting took place. Of course, this all took place late Sunday afternoon when he entered the field shopping mall uh, with a hunting rifle. Police are being praised for their very quick response. He began shooting uh, people at random, according to police. They don't believe there's a political motive here or any sort of terror a link, uh, but they are also combing through his social media channels, particularly looking at several YouTube videos that he posted just before the shooting took place. He was arrested on the scene, as I say, remains in custody now in a special psychiatric unit as police there continue to carry out investigations around why he did this. Trent, what's known about the victims of this shooting at this point? Yeah, well, we know, uh, sadly, that two 17-year-olds, a man and a woman, Danish citizens, uh, were killed in that mall. Also, a 47-year-old Russian citizen who had been living in Denmark. And then we've got four critical injuries as well, two Swedes and two Danes. Now, we understand three of those uh, are now doing it much better, but one is still fighting for their life. I mean, one of the, 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 the kind of tragic parts of this story is that the mall was effectively filled uh, with teenagers because there was a Harry's Styles concert taking place just hours later um, in the vicinity, the, the Royal Arena just across the street from the mall. Um, as I say, police are really being praised, not just for their response to the shooting, but for them, the way they handled all of those young people there. They, it's understood they took many of those groups down into an underground metro station near the mall, uh, kept them safe down there until the uh, immediate danger was over, and then they allowed their parents to kind of come and pick them up. So uh, a lot of uh, grateful parents, I think, in Denmark and Copenhagen given the way police responded to this um, and given, you know, that, that there weren't more young people caught up in this devastating attack. That was reporter Trent Murray in Berlin.